Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a resource allocation graph. So what is this resource allocation graph? Resource allocation means we are allocating the resource to each process. So if you are allocating the resource to process, so how it is going to be arranged in the graph model. So now let us see. So each process actually utilizes the resources. Let me write them. Each process utilizes a resource as request. First, the process utilizes the resources with the help of request. First, it is requesting the resources, using the resources and releasing the resources. So that is a basic condition that whatever the process that is doing, whether it is a CPU process or the memory process or whatever the cache or printer, whatever the re, uh, you are taking the process. So what that process that the sequence of operations will do first it requests, after that it uses that request and then completion of the work it releases the resources. That process will releases the resources. Now let us see this resource allocation graph. So a resource allocation graph consists of a set of vertices, let us take a set of vertices, that is the V and set of edges, set of edges E, a set of vertices V and a set of edges E and V is partition, V is Partition into two types. So one. So this vertice is the V. The vertice is V is divided partition into two types. One as P and another as R. So P is nothing but a process. It consists of set of process P1, P2 up to Pn. The set consisting. I am writing the definition for this resource allocation graph. So that V partition into two types, that vertices, that is a P, the set of, the set consisting of all the process, all the processes in the system and R consists of set R1, R2 up to Rn. So the set consisting of all resources. So here P is all process and R is all resources. Type in, in the system. So a resource allocation graph consists of a set of vertices V and set of edges E. And V is again partitioned into two types P and R. P is a set of process in the system. R is a set of resources in the system. And the request edge you call it as request edge. It is a directed edge you call it as PI is requesting for rj resources if pi is arrow like this if rj that means pi is requesting the process requesting the rj resource that is a requesting edge so this you call it as a requesting edge next assignment edge assignment edge directed graph that is rj is assigned to pi process always the resources is assigned to process and the process is requesting the resources so whenever the process requesting the resources if that resources is free then these resources will assign to that process so this you call it as a request edge and this you call it as a assignment edge now let us take the example for this resource allocated graph example uh, let us take r1 resource R1 resource consists of a single instance. So, the dot indicates an instance that is present in that resource. A single instance. And here, R3. R3, R3 is having single instance. And R2. 
sorry uh, so r2 is having let me write r2 outside r2 is having two instance okay and r4 r4 is having three instance means it is having the resources that it can share to three process to two process only one process the resource can share to only to one process only one instant is there and here the processes are there let us take three process p1 p2 and p3 so the processor always represented in a circle way and the resources are in square shape so in the dot indicates the instances that are present in the resources so this p1 is requesting r1 but r1 is assigned to p2 p2 is requesting r3 but r3 is assigned assigned to p3 and one of the instance in r2 is assigned to p1 and another resource in r2 another instance in r2 is assigned to p2 so this is the representation of uh, resource this you call it as a resource allocation graph and this is the resources and these are the process a resource will be allocated to each process in a graphical way so this is a graph representation so this is a, here it forms one complete cycle this is a closed cycle and this is an open cycle so this is not completely connected graph so this is connected graph okay so uh, this is how you are representing request edge and this is a request edge and this is the assignment edge so p1 is requesting for r1 and assigned r2 p uh, P2 is requesting for R3 and assign R2 and R1. So, this is a resource allocation graph. So, in the next video, I will explain about the resource allocation with the deadlock and with no deadlock condition. Thank you.